This is just another video on the um, one last problem with compact fluorescent lamps that I couldn't fit in the other video because I needed to replace the capacitor because this one had shorted out because of the uh, lamp I was using. So I had to put in a new capacitor. Uh, one last problem with compact fluorescent lamps is because of their very high surge current because what happens is that the uh, there's a big filter capacitor inside the uh, inside the bell's front end, and um, what happens is when in various bits of the uh, sine wave, when the incoming the absolute value of the uh, instantaneous potential of the uh, of the electricity being supplied to the lamp exceeds that of the charge level of the uh, capacitor in the ballast, what happens is you get a very big current spike, and you can hear it with a far resonant. Transform. I just want to be careful not to get touch those terminals because about 370 volts across it. You can hear uh, with an incandescent lamp, or you might not be able to hear it, but there's just kind of a little ticking noise from the surge current of the lamp being turned on. Whereas with the compact fluorescent lamp, you can hear a buzzing. And that's because the, uh, that is again the 120 times a second you're hearing that surge current, because with this, with the incandescent lamp, it's just just a little kind of a ticking noise. Whereas with this, yeah, that's it happening 120 times every second, and that's just the lamp as it is. That isn't with any kind of uh, electronic switching. With uh, things like dimmers, you can get surge currents in excess of many amperes for one lamp so you've got so that'll kill the diodes in the uh, gray it's bridge in the, in the uh, lamp rectifier in the um, lamp uh, ballast it'll th those very high surge currents electrolytic capacitors don't like it so that'll kill the uh, capacitor and it can kill uh, your uh, dimmer or solid state relay or whatever kind of non-dry contacts what you're using and there have actually been a huge number of fires caused by this, so again, these lamps are really, really dangerous, and again, more blood on the environmental movement's hands.